So you're going to notice that the internet should be good enough, uh, but the latency to the San Francisco server is going to be near, uh, it's 147, okay? So then I played all four services. I started them. Uh, you're going to see all four of them on the screen, and they all started at the same time after I clicked the play button. I put music because I couldn't use the audio from the... Yeah. So I hit play, and you know, obviously I'm using my phone, so the screen's gonna flap around. Uh, but just look at it. So uh, Stadia on the top left with PUBG, Luna on the bottom with one of the free games, one of the premium, uh, pre uh, what is it? Prime games, and then uh, GFN on the top right, and XCloud on the bottom right. Uh, uh, most of them gave me like internet, you know. Checking internet. So, so this is a test about not who has the best service, but which one performs better uh, with 150 ping and pretty bad internet zone. So you can see Luna. I'm, it's already loaded up. I'm already playing it. But keep in mind that that game doesn't have to connect to another server it's a standalone game i didn't i couldn't this the only 3d game that was available from my prime game so yeah i wish i could do it early too um uh, uh, cowboy but unfortunately my schedule is kind of my time zone is uh, it's not the best. So, I don't know if you guys can notice uh, the, the quality on the bottom left on Luna stays pretty consistent. But it's also like you can see there's big kind of hops. Not hops, but like skips. I keep calling them skips. Uh, you can't see it. There's no way for me to show it because I would have to record my hand, my hand motions. But the latency, uh, and I'll show you guys a little document that I wrote up. The latency on the Luna one was pretty bad. That's why I keep crashing to walls. Look at that. Look at the uh, GFM right now on the top right. And look at uh, x right now on the bottom right. I mean, it, it gets to a point where you can't, right now, like, you can't see anything, like, you can't tell what anything is. And then once the frame settles down a little bit, it just goes back to whatever 720 it was. Oh, that's right, Dre, yeah, even if you buy them, you can't play them on the cloud, right? That's right. It seems like they're going to change that though. It sounds like you can uh, play your library. It sounds like you're going to be able to play your library uh, pretty s at some point. Somebody is calling me in the middle. See right now, look at the uh, GFN. It's kind of a you know, heavy pixelation. But even though it got worse a few times, it was the most consistent. With, uh, with Stadia, I never really saw lag, but there were skips and there was um, heavy pixelation. The biggest thing that bothers me about Stadia's uh, performance and bad internet and my, where I'm at is there's a lot of flicker. Even when the, sc or the frame is not changing, there's tons of flicker. There's just flickers between resolutions. Click, 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 you know. 720 or something, 1080, 720. So even though, see the skips on PUBG, top left? Uh, even though it, was, it kept skipping, I was still able to hit the sky a couple of times. You know, it was kind of hard to test Luna because of the game selection. But. And then with xCloud, man, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything with xCloud. I literally couldn't, I couldn't turn left or right. I couldn't, uh, uh, I couldn't do anything. So if you click on this uh, document here, 
it's going to take you this and then i'm not going to go all over all of it if you're interested i'm about to tweet it after this show so you can check it out oh i can't go any closer uh but yeah let's go 140. yeah but i did rank them all so i just keep in mind this is my opinion just on this situation right uh, and then you have the four services load time. So Luna was the fastest, but again, it's a game that doesn't didn't require any uh, connection to a different cloud, a different uh, server. But potentially, it could be that fast. I don't know. Uh, if I tried, uh, I don't know what kind of game I would try there to be equivalent. But um, but right now, right there, Luna got it, and Stadia got it. Uh, GFN took the longest because I had to wait for a rig and then it did check my connection and had I had to confirm confirm to continue even though the internet was bad right I had to confirm that it was okay and the, the xCloud was uh, was faster than GFN to load up quality or Luna wanted this is specifically talking about pixels so Luna never really dropped resolution okay so that's the so that's the, the thing behind that so Luna never really dropped below 720 it stayed pretty crisp the entire time okay uh gfn did get kind of blobby kind of like uh blurry here and there but it wasn't as bad as x cloud and the only reason that it's above stadia is because stadia would jump back and forth too much you know what i mean and so even like I said, even if this, even if I was just standing in the in the main screen, just you know waiting for the matchmaking, it would still flicker, which it shouldn't do that because the frame isn't changing that much. So I don't know what the issue is with that, uh, but it did that. Uh, so maybe maybe uh, Stadia sending a fresh frame every time, you know what I mean? Uh, latency, Stadia had almost no latency. I can't, fe I didn't feel it. It was hard to tell. Uh, it was hard to tell with GFN, but it uh, it was what is it? You you probably experienced it when you feel like this latency, but you can't. You hit you know you, you hit a button or you do an action, and it takes just a little bit. It doesn't feel natural. That's how GFN felt, and then Stadia just felt clean. Just hit a button, it would do this. Turn, it would do that. Uh, and then Luna had really really bad latency. Um, Almost as bad as, as xCloud, but xCloud, I couldn't even do anything. I couldn't do nothing with uh, latency-wise. I, I couldn't shoot anybody. I couldn't jump over anything. I couldn't turn. I couldn't look uh, left or right. Uh, skips. So uh, GFN skips the most. No, skipped, skipped the least. And it, it kept the, the best uh, consistency and uh, quality. Right after Luna, so Luna kind of skipped uh, a lot too, uh, and then Stadia just uh, skipped as much as Luna. It's pretty close. I think I said it something like uh, GFN had the least amount of skips and was less severe. Stadia, Luna, and Xla were very close. Uh, so actually, yeah, they were they were skipping a lot, but the the benefit of that is that Stadia didn't have lag. So even if if you skip with uh, Luna, if you turn left or right, you still wouldn't you couldn't really uh, control anything uh but even though i skipped on stadia you can kind of almost predict because there was no latency where you're gonna where you're gonna be able to go yeah and so playability gfn a one playability it handled the resolution change better uh even with that little bit of lag i was still able to like jump over stuff and and shoot i don't think i was able to shoot anybody um, Stadia was right behind there, but yeah, the thing that bothers me the most about Stadia was was that flicker. Uh, it doesn't need to be there. And then just to be transparent, you can see I use Stadia ninety percent of the time, probably more, but I just trying to you know I spread it out. I, I rarely use XCloud because it's only Fortnite. Um, I use Luna for my monthly uh, my monthly Luna uh, Prime video of uh, Prime games Prime channel. Sorry. Uh, and then I think I played Far Cry 4 another time after it released on Prime. And then that's it. So pros for for Stadia is the best latency. GFN has the most uh, is the most playable. 
uh, in this situation, okay, so I, I specifically put on the th things I like about this specific experience, okay? Uh, but uh, let's see, Luna, best quality, and then XLA, no session time limit. That's the, that's the only thing about XLA that I can think of as positive. And then the cons is too much uh, sh uh, shifting quality. Yeah, so flicker. I should have just said flicker. Maybe that maybe people wouldn't understand if I said flicker. Uh, waiting and session time limits, uh, obviously, because it's a free tier. Uh, too much latency and skips on Luna, so it's unplayable uh, with bad internet. And then uh, <laughs> xCloud, I said everything else. Yeah, so I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm not. It's not a hit piece. I'm not trying to make any servers. You know, obviously they're all gonna act differently. You want them all to be the same, but that's not um, that's not feasible. Uh, or it could be maybe one day, but not not now. And so yeah, that was that's all I was trying to do with that. It's not that I'm trying to be negative to the other platforms. I just don't understand why all that negativity when there's tons of people that are playing stadia comfortably maybe because it's a small community that's an assumption of failure i don't know so it's nothing to do with the quality that's just happened to be a test it could have been the best and i would have been honest about it but it wasn't and i played xcloud before with the one dollar free uh one dollar month of game pass uh and you can go back to the streams and it, it wasn't it was not playable here in hawaii you know what i mean that was a pretty cool test. I thought it was pretty cool. It took me a bunch of tries, though. And then I actually did one live, but my internet kept going from good to bad in the middle of it, so I didn't think it was fair. I, I started playing Stadia where my internet was bad because it's still doing a busy season, busy time. And then I switched over to, like, GFN and Luna, and it was doing better. So I was like, well, that's not really fair because now if I do a test, the latency is lower. Then when I did Stadia, so I played Stadia again. It was better, but it was still flickering. Like there's a, I like two days ago I did it, so you can check that out if you want to see a longer version of it. But that was my internet in the house, where the one that I just showed you is on my phone in a, a place that specifically always gives me bad internet uh, signals. Uh, Stadia plays great. Their issue is the games aren't high on majority of games list, and that's all. I mean, people just don't know about it. People know because if you saw that article that says forty-five percent uh, of uh, casual of the casual gaming market is supposed to, I mean, uh, yes, what is it? The casual gamer is supposed to grow by forty-five percent. Those guys don't know about Stadia, right? You know what I mean? Because they're not gamers. They're you know they're on the phone or they're you know whatever or they're playing games that aren't on a, on consoles or maybe they just play for twenty minutes a day and that's it. They don't know about it. But because I'm in on Stadia for the convenience and most of the guys that I know uh, that have kids and, you know, have other things to do are on Stadia for the convenience. When those 45% find out about the convenience of Stadia, they're coming regardless of the games. I mean, yes, I agree. Games are important. Um, you know, I mean, you have to have good games, but good is uh, subjective. That's my point. AAA does not mean it's a good game. AAA just means it's an expensive game.